Nicole, and we're gonna take a tour through Chanel. I'm standing inside the new cafeteria and it's really cool and these are actually big, uh, almost like airplane hangar garage doors and then they go up and allow a nice kind of open atmosphere for the uh, cafeteria. I'm here in the girls' bathroom and as you can see they're no longer infected. Um, very nice patterns on the walls and brand new appliances and toilets and sinks and these cool hairbrushes. Alrighty, this is the new entrance to the cafeteria. Um, they blew up the wall and now it's nice and open. a special type of glass in that's called fire rated glass. It can go up to a certain, I mean it's like 450 degrees that it can withstand a certain amount of resistance. Yeah. These are all new offices, counseling center, meeting rooms. This used to be the math hall, and as you can see, they've totally gutted it and redid it. We've got campus ministry and counseling offices in here, and then there's two new classrooms at the end and all brand new lockers as well as bathrooms for this hall. It's looking really good. I just might bend, but I won't break. Here we added all new fire protection. So this will actually feed this entire floor. It goes all the way across. I'm on a witness program. <laughs> I'm on a protection program. I'll take pictures. This is actually required a part of your fire safety. Oh, it's the door it's, is a magnet. It holds the door say. open. Yep. So as soon as uh, you know the fire alarm goes off yeah. and all the alarms, as soon as everyone's out, they close to contain it. And the only person that can come back in is the fire department and open it. Do you know will this help the tornado plan the with the new doors and yeah. the new windows? Mm -hmm. So because this space all used to be open, you had to leave it, you know, right. for whatever major weather. Now well, you actually, have to. for our tornado drills, we sat in the hallways. Oh, did you? We did. <laughs> Everyone so, was like laughing. That's, like, that's pretty safe. Oh. Yeah. So you're saying so the new glass and everything will be a lot more. Exactly. New glass based upon new codes are impact resistant to a certain amount. Okay. So I mean, it'll be much safer now. Right. Those are the new, the new security. security. So you have these little key cards, and the key card opens it. But you also have manual locks if you ever needed to do that. Right. It's an all-encompassing key card system. And if you just say you want to knock this door, but keep all the other doors open, you could. So do the classrooms have them too? No, or the classrooms are independent. Just it's the just the hallways to block those in. And he was saying that you, they can, from the front office, they can lock down the entire school. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And the same with the lighting. The lighting is controlled by the corridors, so all of those, you can switch those off and the classrooms will go. Okay. But if the corridor lights are off, the classrooms can switch in on and off. Okay. So they have master control and then individual control. Right. So at night they can do... Yeah, and they can time sleep. it too. So say, you know, if one teacher comes in at 6 a.m. every day, they can have the lights turn on at 5.45 so that they're all on when he comes in. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. that's and then cool. at night, 7 o'clock, 5 o'clock, save energy, do that. And right. the campus is making a whole push uh, to try and save water and save energy, so they're actually metering all of these new things so that they can kind of either cut back or resource wherever they want more power, more right. water. Wow. That's cool. Kind of cool, and it's a it's the first step in a LEED certification. Ready? We're in the library. We're in one of the new classrooms. Um, they put these nice glass. Um, oh. 
window things to enclose the, the rooms and then over here you've got the door to the new study hall room which has got glass all the way along the front facing the library. And then if you look across you can see they have new um, like uh, areas where you can charge your laptop um, on like bar stool height uh, chairs and then they've got new lighting um, to brighten up the library. Alrighty, this is the new quiet study um, and it's it's for those who want to have a more quiet experience in the library and get out of the big, open, um, more loud library. So this is for the students to come, sit, you know, do quiet study, read a book, something more that they want a quiet environment. And uh, thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed your tour. Yeah. Bye. Bye.